It's your first year of college, and you're finally on your own. <gasps> no curfews, no cleaning your room. Your poor roommate. <laughs> but best of all, you can eat whatever you want. Soda for breakfast, fruit roll-ups instead of actual fruit, and for dinner, an all-you-can-eat trip to the dining hall where you can treat yourself to the newest sensation, bacon-wrapped pizza. Yep, it's the good life. That is, until you go home for Thanksgiving break, step on your bathroom scale for the first time, and... Gah! What happened? Hey guys, welcome to Wildcast. This week we're talking about the Freshman 15. We'll take a look at why you're putting on those extra pounds and show you six steps for getting your weight back down to normal. First of all, 15 is a bit of a misnomer. According to an Ohio State study, only about 10% of college freshmen actually gain 15 or more pounds. Depending on what sources you consult, the average weight gain by first-year students is between 2 and 6 pounds. So what causes the freshman 15? For the first time in your life, you are determining your own diet. And that means you're more likely to lean hard into the junk food that first year. Healthy food options aren't always going to be available either. And listen, guys, it's not always what you eat, but when you eat it. Do you tend to snack when it's 2 a.m. and you're two papers and three Red Bulls into an all-nighter? Well, a Northwestern University study found that eating at night leads to twice as much weight gain as eating during the day, regardless of calories. Your metabolism tends to... Slow down when your body thinks it's time for bed. So, you pack those calories away instead of burning them. And there's one final factor to consider. College can be stressful. Leaving home, taking harder classes, meeting new people. It is an overwhelming time. Stress has a chemical relationship to weight gain. When a body's stressed out, it releases cortisol a hormone that slows down metabolism. All right, it's time to start shedding those pounds. Pause and print this Wellcast worksheet. Step one, stick to a strict schedule. On your Wellcast worksheet, pencil in your classes and extracurricular activities for the whole week. Now, plan what you're going to eat every day based on this schedule. Try to space out the meals every three to four hours and plan your last meal of the day at least three hours before bedtime. Don't even think about forgoing food in favor of alcohol either. Even if you're planning to go to a kegger on Friday night, stick to your three scheduled meals. Step two, the two-thirds rule. Uh, navigating your dining hall is one of the trickiest obstacles to maintaining a healthy weight. Follow this simple rule for filling your tray as you go through the buffet line. Two-thirds of your plate is reserved for grains, vegetables, and fruits. That way, you fill up on fiber, not empty calories, but you don't totally cut yourself off from the foods that you love. Step three, the 20-minute rule. Oh, after you've eaten your first round, Make yourself wait 20 minutes before going back for seconds. Odds are, you won't be hungry anymore. 20 minutes is about how long it takes for your brain to realize your stomach is full and stop sending those annoying hunger pains. Step four, get active. Find a way to work some fun exercise into your daily routine. Hey, join a campus group or club. Or find out if your school offers a free or discounted membership to the gym. If you have to, just make a conscious effort to take the stairs instead of the elevator. Step five, address that stress. Hey, keeping a healthy weight isn't just about eating and exercising. You also need to be on top of your mental and emotional health. If you're overwhelmed or too stressed and you're parlaying that stress into bad eating habits, your campus most likely has resources such as advisors or counselors that can help you. Oh, to recap, avoid the dreaded freshman 15 with our five steps. All right, when you're in the dining hall, make sure two-thirds of your plate is taken up by grains, veggies, and fruit. After you eat, 
Wait 20 minutes before going in for seconds. Stick to a strict eating schedule as best you can manage. And plant, well, healthy snacks in your dorm room for when you're having cravings. Find a campus activity that you can join where you'll be able to get some exercise. And most importantly, find healthy outlets for your stress. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.